Okay, so we've got a wooden frame that's part of the roof of the house. We are asked to find lots of different things. So first off, we've got to find the length PQ, so that is here. Then we've got to find QS, which is from Q to S here. And then we've got to get the total length of wood to make the frame. So that's going to be all of these sides added together. Okay, so first of all, let's start off with a bit of labelling. So we could have an A here, a B here, and an H there. And if we've used A, then this will be another... Sorry, if we've used B, that will be another A and another hypotenuse. Part A asks us to find that length PQ. So we're just going to use the triangle PQR this time. We're going to totally ignore the other side. So 3 squared plus 3.5 squared equals, and let's call that x, just to be straightforward. So that's equal to x squared. Then we can do 3 squared plus 3.5 squared gives us 21.25. And then x has got to be the square root of that which is 4.6 centimetres. OK, there's part A. Part B, calculate the length QS. OK, so this time we're going to use the right triangle, this one here. So 3 squared plus 4 squared equals, let's call this Y this time, Y squared. So 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, altogether we have 25. This bit could come up on a non-calculator if it's whole numbers. And then square root of 25 is 5 centimetres. Part C then, the total length of wood. So we've got to get add together all the sides. So I've got x is 4.6, y is 5. Then along the bottom I've got 3.5 and 4. And up the middle there is 3. So adding them all together, 6 and 5 make 1, carry the 1. 4, 5 and the 1, so 4, 5 and the 1 make 10, 3, 4 and 3 make another 10, so altogether we've got 20 there. And we're done.